Hi guys, welcome back to the channel only for automation. And in my last video, I explained two Java programs which is important for interview. One was for removing duplicate characters from a string and swapping two values without using third variable. And in this video, I will explain a program to find occurrence of the duplicate characters and print only those characters with counts using two ways like uh, using hash map and uh, without hash map so let's start we have a string a string str equal to like i have a string jaza sharma and in this i need to find uh, duplicate characters and the occurrence so uh, what should be the output output should be like the result equal to um, r equal to uh, 2 okay and uh, a equal to 4 and what was the duplicate what is the duplicate h okay h equal to 2 okay r okay that's fine yeah so result should be like this r equal to 2 means the duplicate character should be printed and with the occurrence okay so let's start with the program so first I, uh, I'll create, uh, first I'll, uh, I'll explain without using hash map, okay. So like, uh, okay, I'm going to create a method, public static void and uh, occurrence or just like duplicate, duplicate character, characters and here we need to pass a string okay so first we have a string and to iterate all these characters we need to convert a string to the character array so to store the character array we need to create a variable of character type so character c equal to str dot there is a method to care array so it will convert a string into the character array okay and here we are going to create a one more variable which is count to count the duplicate characters okay i will explain uh, in this program what will use a count okay now we have a method uh, we have a for loop so for loop will start from 0 to length of the characters so we have a characters in the c array okay so like start integer i equal to 0 and i less than less than what c dot length of the character so we have a length method and i plus plus okay and now here we have to initialize the count equal to 1 okay so means every character has one occurrence now we are going to create one more uh, loop so in this loop we are uh, we uh, we iterate from uh, next character to the last character means we will compare the i and the j here we are using j so like uh, integer j equal to so we are comparing the next character so i plus sorry i plus one okay and j less than the same condition should be there c dot c dot plus okay and j plus plus okay and uh, now we are comparing i and j means c of i exactly equal to c of j so if i equal to 0 then j j equal to 1 i plus 1 if i equal to 1 then j equal to 2 so it will always compare the next value okay one more condition i will put here and c of i not equal to blank 
so we are not going to compare the blank that's why we are putting this condition and count plus plus okay and if the c of i equal to c of j then count will plus and here we are going to add c of j equal to 0 to verify that uh, 0 should not be there in means 0 will be uh, passed in the c of j means it is uh, verified means it is counted so we will not count in the next uh, next iteration that's why we are putting 0 to the c of j okay and now come to the next loop so here we are adding some values like uh, we are comparing if count greater than 1 and c of i of i not equal to 0 because we have initialized uh, c of j equal to 0 so here we are comparing c of i not equal to 0 these are same i is just a uh, iterator so here we are using j and here we are using i it's just a iterator okay so let's print and here we are printing c of i this equal to plus count okay so we have created the method so let's try to execute this call this method inside the main method and str so we have a Raghav Sharma and output should be let's execute okay so you can see the output output r equal to 2 a equal to 4 and h equal to 2 so it's uh, correct means r we have 2 duplicate and uh, a we have 4 and h equal to Let's change something like Sharma Sharma. All these characters should be all these characters is duplicate. So Sharma 222 two, two, and A is equal to 4. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to change I'm going to create okay. I'm going to create one more method by using map hash map. So hash map is uh, pretty simple if we are using to find the duplicate okay so i'm going to create one more method public static void duplicate okay okay so here is string str okay so, so first uh, this line will be same so just copy and paste okay and count is also same okay and here we are uh, here i'm uh, i'm taking i'm creating a variable of hash map so map okay map now map should be uh, key value so key should be of character okay and values of type integer because as you can see the output s is a character and the values is integer that's why i'm taking key is for character type and uh, values for integer type okay and map equal to new hash map character integer which is close so we have a variable of hash map type which is map okay the same uh, the same for loop should be there for integer i equal to 0 i less than c dot length and i plus plus the same method can uh, count equal to 1 
okay here we don't we don't need to uh, uh we'll, we'll change this program okay so here i'm going to create one more loop j equal to zero and j less than c dot length and j plus plus okay just compare c of i exactly equal to c of j if it is then count plus plus it's pretty simple now in the outside the loop just need to compare if count greater than one then just add this value into map so map dot put character we have a character inside the c of i and the value value should be count okay and here uh, what is the error here we need to initialize the count so just uh, count equals okay now it's outside the loop just need to print the map i'm printing a simple map okay so now execute this method also public character string okay so Just right click run and click on run java application let's see the okay uh, it's uh, it's getting some wrong information wrong output let's try to figure out what is the issue equal to zero character we have a character a string I equal to zero i plus plus and in the second loop okay we we didn't we didn't initialize the count again zero because all count uh, if count is not zero then it will always increase the value okay so just need to uh, to initialize count with zero okay so you can see a equal to four r equal to two h equal to two so the same result we are getting by using hash map and without using hash map so guys it is because of hash map doesn't contain duplicate value so i hope you like this video if you like this video then please subscribe the channel thank you thank you for watching in the next video i will explain more java programs on the interview point of view thank you thank you for watching